Did you, have you not watched Unacknowledged? What is Unacknowledged? You gotta watch Unacknowledged. What is that one? Okay. You gotta watch Unacknowledged. What is it? You gotta watch Unacknowledged. Is that that Stephen Greer movie? No. It is. Yeah, it, it is? is? Yeah. Listen to me, man. No. No? No, no good, huh? No. This is, <clears throat> there's a fucking industry, and the industry is in people wanting to get mysteries solved. The great mystery of is there life out there, mm -hmm. and nobody has any answers. There's, mm -hmm. I, I did this show for mm -hmm. sci-fi called Joe Rogan Questions Everything, mm -hmm. and before that show, mm -hmm. I was a hardcore believer in a lot of wonky conspiracies, mm -hmm. like Bigfoot and aliens. I just loved them, because they seem so interesting. I don't so live in Bigfoot. You don't live in Bigfoot? No, I don't believe Bigfoot's that. Bigfoot's the most plausible. You think so? Yes. Wow, why? Because there was an animal called the Gigantopithecus that yeah, lived there was. alongside human beings as recently as 100,000 years ago. It was a real, absolutely real animal. Okay. And there's, they found fossilized bones in these things, and they, they, they found teeth from an apothecary shop in China. There was a real animal. Mm. It was a, a gigantic bipedal hominid that was somewhere around 8 to 10 feet tall. So this thing lived at the same time people did. So this is probably the reason why there's this myth of Bigfoot, that at one point in time, this was a real thing. No, but what about the, what about that they're walking around now? Probably not. That's what I'm Most saying. Most likely not. That was what I was saying. I yeah. mean, I'm sure it was a giant, you know. Yeah, but there's, you know, a lot so of people So tell me that, about, uh, about aliens. Tell me about... Um, <sighs> Most, is a business. Most of well, it what is about a business. The, what, about the, what about the Air Force general that mm. said, gave, did that tape, mm -hmm. gave it to his wife, yeah. and said, don't put this out until I'm dead. Did you not feel as though when he was speaking... Any of that was real? I think you've seen that, right? I think too many. Have you seen that one? Yeah, I've seen a lot of those. I've seen a lot of those there's people. One there's in a particular. lot of there's a lot of former military people that say they've seen crazy things, and it's entirely possible that they mm -hmm. really did. Mm -hmm. It's entirely possible, mm -hmm. but it's also possible that they're crazy. Mm -hmm. It's possible that they love attention. <clears throat> it's possible it. that they're bored. It's possible that they're schizophrenic. Mm -hmm. It's possible that they have memories that they've concocted over the years and enhanced, mm -hmm. and it's gotten them attention, and it's putting them in documentaries, and it gets them interviews on television programs. Right. but that there's no evidence you know mm. and the, the problem with all these people is they all have this same feeling about them and they're not there's very few of them that come ac across as rational and objective most of them come across as there's something wrong there's a there's a wires that aren't connecting if you talk to them about other things in life like if you had a chance to talk to them for a long period of time sit mm. down with them for three hours ask them about ghosts and psychics and all kinds of other shit they almost all believe in that stuff this is, they're believers yeah. they want to believe in nonsense i hear you as soon as that crops up <clears throat> i'm out of the room but it's possible that i mean not just possible it's a hundred percent likely mm -hmm. that there's alien life out mm -hmm. there like 100 percent glad more, you said more that you scared me for a second no i think it's more i just love that, that movie is. because it kind of had a nice thread through. that movie's horseshit okay there's a lot of those movies that are horseshit and mm -hmm. that guy he knows some of that's horseshit like there's a little baby that they had found that's an aborted fetus they I were trying to pass that off as an alien baby for a long time but they have you genome don't believe tests. that we're uh that we're hybrids no what I do you what do you hybrids. can you tell me about the link <clears throat> what, like, between monkeys and us <laughs> seriously well, well between the well, two frontal lobes uh -huh. and the full the brain sure. of the monkey well we are hominids mm -hmm. I mean, we are primates mm -hmm. and we're just the most advanced primate the real question is how did we get to be so much more that's advanced? what i'm just that's what i asked you well it's more likely that, that we found fire and our diet changed and hunting and then the stoned ape theory, which is a very fascinating theory. Mm -hmm. The stoned ape theory is Terence McKenna's theory that yeah, human know, beings that. found psil 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 psilocybin, psilocybin mushrooms. Yeah. And that through the use of psilocybin <clears throat> mushrooms, which in low doses increases visual acuity, produces these uh, ecstatic states, that it might have helped us develop language and communication and creativity. Mm -hmm. And that this, in turn, was the reason why the human brain doubled in size over a period of two million years, which is the greatest mystery in the history of the fossil record. They don't know why they did it. But there's a very clear path so between So you do believe hominids. the humans were here two, a million years ago? Humans? H well, some whatever. Form, hominids? Some form of, of okay. primate was certainly here millions okay. of years ago, as was... Yeah. Deer. Deer were here millions of years ago. Mm -hmm. okay, There's good, a lot good. of animals. Didn't mean to interrupt you, but... No, it's okay. I, I don't know. The, the I thing feel is, that. I feel like, you know, just because there was an ice age, that took part... That took... It was like how many hundreds... 100,000 years was the ice age? Well, there's been a bunch of ice ages, mm -hmm. but the most recent one ended somewhere in the neighborhood of 12,000 years ago. That was nothing. Nothing, yeah. From beginning to end. 
<clears throat> so well, we, and we don't know what, what caused it. Well, when the Ice Age exists, we have to remember that some parts of the world aren't experiencing the Ice Age, and then humans thrived in Africa during parts of the Ice Age. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's, there's a lot of human beings that live all over the world. The real question is, where did they start? Most likely from Africa, but they could have possibly started from some other places, too, and we're starting to learn that. Well, that's but the people the that are learning that, thing, right? The people that are learning, no, not really. Why? Well, I mean, there's that, too, but, I mean, mostly just people traveling. Mm -hmm. But what you really learn from is archaeologists. Mm -hmm. Those are the people you learn from, and biologists, people that really understand the human genome. They really understand the differences between people that emerge from China versus people that emerge from Western Europe versus people that emerge from, mm -hmm. you know, or Native Americans. I mean, there's so many different types of human beings that came from different climates and that their bodies evolved from these places. And there's real science to that. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get that from these goofy fucking documentaries. These goofy fucking documentaries are basically a business. And the business is to, there's a bunch of people out there that want, they want to know the answers. I get what it. is the truth? And so you get, <clears throat> I was aboard the secret UFO. I saw the magnetic controller that makes us travel through the cosmos and bend time and space. It's like a wormhole. And they'll say a bunch of sciencey sound and shit. Mm -hmm. But there's no evidence. There's nothing. When they talk about, there's nothing. Will you let what's David Wilcock? Wilcock. Mm -hmm. You know David? No. Again, uh, another one. Really? That guy says that he is the reincarnation no. of Edgar Casey. Do you know that? Um. Did you know that? Yeah, I've heard. Do you know who Edgar Casey is? Uh, uh, yeah, of course. Famous psychic who never really right figured out anything. Understood. And thought to be a fraud, most li widely by scientists and skeptics. Drinking too much laudanum. Laudanum. Is that laudanum. What he did? Don't you think? I don't know. I don't know what Everything did. was written and everybody was stoned. Well, I think When you talk also... about the psychedelic, the, the psych yeah. uh, psilocybin mushrooms, I mean, opiates, laudanum, the last hundred years. Loud, you know, how do you, you say it? Loud loudanum? Loudanum. Yeah. loudanum. 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 Everyone, everyone that was this? drinking that shit. Yeah. Right. You know. but, but look. How do you I, say it? It's like liquid. Yeah. There's, yeah. There's, you know, there's. Yeah, that shit was in that. Uh... Japanese, never, they never left the island. Do a lot of Japanese have the same eyes shapes? Yes, they do. Is there a reason? Well, there's a reason why they didn't leave the island and come back after mating with anybody else. So they stayed on that aliens? body of land. Do you think they're from aliens? No, not absolutely think... not. It's just that they stayed on that 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 plot of land. Sure. <clears throat> but wouldn't you agree and that American a lot Indians? of people from Asia look very, fairly similar? Yeah, I do. There's variations in the similarities, yeah. but they were similar, right? But I think it took millions of years. That's, the, that's my take. Look, I can't prove anything. No, they do believe it took millions of years. I always finish stuff by saying, I didn't see it. Right. I'm, when I go out at night, Maui, and walk, walk around, uh -huh. I'm dying to see UFO. Me too. So are you. Because Everybody the is. second I see one, the second, right. that will make clear shit like, you know, the song I wrote called Back When Cain Was Able, way before the... Anyways, about a mothership and shit. Way before I knew anything about UFOs. Did you ever see anything when you did psychedelics? When you did drugs, whether you did mushrooms I or I never saw anything or... that wasn't there. For I'm sure? I'm not that kind of people. No. I'm not the kind of people. I'm... Some people have, though, and the, <laughs> the, the idea is that there are things that are out there in neighboring dimensions that you're mm -hmm. really not capable of accessing them. Yeah. That that's where the real aliens live. Yeah. I don't know, man, but I just know that all these people that are pushing it, they're all, they all have, there's fuckery involved in all mm -hmm. these people. No, I That's hear a real you. problem. I hear, I hear you. I hear you. Because it's, it's fun. It's fun. You want to believe, right? You want to mm -hmm. believe that there's a general out there that's seen the spaceship that's under the mountain. <gasps> Tell me about it, Mr. General. And he goes on a lecture tour and you got to pay money to see him and he's in a documentary and there's a lot of those people out there, man. And I live with it. I was backstage with Joe Perry. What'd you do? I, I, yes, you know, my mm -hmm. whole life. Yeah. So I get what you're saying. The wow of the yeah. thrill of the story. But, you know. People love to tell stories. There's something inside me that says, you know what? I, they still haven't found that that missing link. That between. It's, if you talk to biologists, and they how say the that's horse shit. Because they're, they're but they do. They, the have, but they have Australopithecus <clears throat> fossils. They have the things that were like us that are different from a long fucking time ago. They have those. And the, and the size of the brain? Yeah, the, the, two frontal the, the brain changed. It doubled over a period of two million years. I mean, that, that did happen. But 
they they know what we used to be. Mm. There are simple hominids that were, or, or rather ancient hominids that are very similar to human beings and they slowly became human beings and there's also they keep finding all these different versions of human beings like there wasn't just human there wasn't just homo sapiens and of course there was neanderthals mm -hmm. and, but there was that the one from russia what was that called you, that was in that move that book um hominid what what is that uh dion dion i can't remember though it starts with a d but it's a one that they've found very recently very recently. You find it, Jamie? Yeah. Here it is. Denisovan. Den Deniso Denisovan? Denisovan hominin. An extinct species of sub or subspecies of archaic humans. They found in the 1970s by the Russian paleontologist <clears throat> Nikolai Oldov. So there's been a bunch of different for forms of humans. We're just the most successful form of human. The idea that it's just alien DNA connected with people, it's sexy. It sounds fun, but there's no evidence. Uh, I hear you, but isn't it's that what we fun. are as humans? Well, we are mutations. We are an ancient thing that slowly figured its way out. Mm -hmm. We became better at seeing things. We became better at hunting. We became better at harnessing fire. Where do you think free will came from? <clears throat> there's a lot of people that don't even believe it's real. They, be they believe in determinism. They don't, they don't even believe that free will is an actual thing. I mean, I've heard Sam Harris really? argue it pretty successfully that there is no such thing as free will that you are an accumulation of your genetics your life experiences all the things that have happened to you the people that you've come in contact with that's true behavioral and that and that, that forms behavioral psychology think about that's, that's your true. behavior think about your behavior yeah. and how much of your behavior is shaped by millions of adoring fans and people screaming and cheering you on and singing songs that move people and ch literally change generations give people goosebumps when they hear them mm -hmm. i mean all that stuff has shaped who you are I mean, all that stuff changes who a person is. And who you are now and the way you behave now is m in many ways shaped by your life experiences as much as it is, as it is by your genetics. And mm. you wouldn't be this person if you hadn't lived that life. And the decisions that you make from this moment on, right now, leave the studio mm -hmm. and have a conversation with someone, will be <clears throat> shaped at least in part by this conversation. And yeah. mine will be by my conversation yeah. with you. This is what the idea behind determinism. Okay, so I would ask... What was, what was who said this? Who was into well, this? There's many, many people okay, that, have, that come up with this concept, but I've heard it. The, it was really argued to me by mm, Sam Harris mm, the most successfully. Wow, interesting. <clears throat> I just wonder why then, you know, certain monkeys, certain breeds of monkeys, smart ones, bonobos. I love them because I'm a bonobo. But uh, have you know <laughs> they stick? They'll put a stick in something and pull out shilogy, But you know, well, that's uh, that's they, also they haven't taken going. Well, wait a minute now, then. They haven't gone. Any, they haven't gone past that. So. Well, do you know primatologists <clears throat> actually believe that chimpanzees have entered the Stone Age? This is one thing that's being considered now. That they've started the use of tools on a regular basis. Okay. They think that they're learning from each other, Love and it. they think that they're if if they are evolving, yeah. right? And if yeah. human beings evolved over a period of millions of years, mm -hmm. we are actually watching chimpanzees evolve in real time. Well, I and think so a, too. A long, time. long process that'll yeah. take millions of years. But they have entered the Stone Age. So they think that, who knows, with a, a series of mutations, with natural selection, with a bunch of different things happening, what a chimpanzee is today, most likely it will be a different thing in two million years. Of course it will. Yeah. And I that's, totally agree in that. Right. That these intelligent animals, <clears throat> they're going to experiment with things. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Macaques often use stone tools. Sure Monkeys they do. have been living in the Stone Age for 50 years. So for 50 years, these animals, just 50, okay? I'm that not animal's sure about that. That's when somebody first saw them using the stone. True. Well, in terms of primatologists uh -huh. observing I behavior. Get you, get so you, these archaeologists have uncovered stone tools they yep. believe these animals have used. Mm -hmm. so, or, or other humans. Yeah, or other humans. Because you can't figure stone out. Right. Now, when you look, what do you think about... When you look up in, and I, look at, I don't know the answers. That's why I got my girls. Well, I definitely back. don't know the answers either. But, okay. Again, but remember, I just said, I just repeat shit smart people have figured <laughs> out. That's all I'm doing. What about the stones that are cup, cut up in, not Machu Picchu, but up in I wherever. know what you're talking about, yeah. Those, you know, the laser cuts. And, and well, like, not I'm, laser, but yeah, very precise cuts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wh whoever it was. Most likely advanced civilizations that have been wiped out by yeah. cataclysms. And that's what I'm saying. So yeah. my mind goes to, fuck yeah, we were here. Something we went was underground. Here. There's places I saw movies of it uh -huh. where you go into the mountain, you go back three miles in the mountain. Right. Have you seen this? 
Yeah, there the caves? are. Yeah, there's incredible cave Three systems. Three fucking miles yeah. back. But there's and natural all cave systems. Giant rooms like this in there. There's and natural cave systems in Texas that go back miles into so, the mountains. So I'm into just the hills, saying. I should say. I, that's where my head goes with this. You know, ghosts. Come on, that's your own fear. I don't know, but you know where you're talking about Muscle Shoals? Yeah. Those the feeling in that room. Mm -hmm. There might be a similar feeling when a violent encounter happens in a house. Mm -hmm. That might be what a ghost is. What a ghost is is might be this thing that you can't capture, you can't put it in a box, mm -hmm. you can't weigh it on a scale, but you get a feeling when you're in a place where something horrible happened and you could feel it it's not it's not impossible to no, imagine that that's not. the case and Rupert Sheldrake was the guy that I told you believed that and he's a scientist and some people would argue against it but mm -hmm. that he believes that things have memory and that it's impossible it's possible that even this table has memory all the mm -hmm. people that have sat where you sat and, I think it's got talked. a vibe I'm not a sure vibe. if it's memory you know it's got memory water nobody knows about that yet water right because it never goes anywhere you can never get rid of water. It's true. You can boil it, steam it, it goes up, it comes back down. So right. I think when they find out the memory in water, I also got to tell you, 